Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog, and this lesson is called Use the Break Apart Strategy to Add. So it's just some more um, uh, strategies to help us add some numbers. So here we're going to, uh, how can we use the Break Apart Strategy to add three-digit numbers? Okay, and we'll get started with this. And all of your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, there are more freshmen at Bella Vista High School than there are seniors. At one time, there were 355 seniors and 414 freshmen. How many students were there at Bella Vista High School altogether? So we're going to go ahead and use the break apart strategy to find the sum. So uh, we're going to ask to add 355 plus 414. Okay, so let's just slide that up there and then uh, let's estimate, you guys. Let's estimate about how many hundreds are there. Let's round this to the nearest hundred. Would this stay at 300 or would it stay at or would it round up to 400 this is a little bit closer to 400 right here and this one's definitely closer to 400 than it is to 500 so let's estimate uh, 400 plus 400 well we can just go ahead and add these are nice uh, friendly numbers with the zeros right here so 4 plus 4 is 8 so these guys would estimate to be about, about 800 Okay, do you think it would be over 800 or under 800 when you add these two guys together right here? This one's a little bit over 400. This one's uh, quite a ways less than 400. So I, I would think it would be less than 800, probably around 700 uh, something, but a little bit less than 800. All right, let's go ahead and break apart the add ends, you guys, and then we'll start with the hundreds and then add each place value. So here's the hundreds. This is three hundreds. This is 510, so this would be 50, and then this would be 5. So this is going to be 300 plus 50 right there, and then uh, plus 5. Okay, 414 is 400 plus uh, the 10, and then plus the 4 right there. So we'll go ahead and put 400 right there. Now we can add these numbers. They're all friendly numbers right here because they end in zeros. 300 plus 400 is 700. 50 plus 10 is going to get us 60, and then finally 5 plus 4 is 9. So when then uh, we can go ahead and add those sums together, you guys. So 700 plus 60 plus 9 is going to give us 769. Okay, so uh, there were 769 freshmen and seniors at Bella Vista High School. All right, so let's go ahead and add uh, 467 plus 208. Okay, let's go ahead and estimate. Would this uh, stay at 400 or would it round up to 500? Well, this one's, uh, if remember, if this number is 5 or, or larger, then we round this up. So this is uh, 6 is greater than 5, so this would round up to 500. Okay, this 0 is less than 5, so this 2 stays the same, so this would round to 200. So we'll estimate it as 500 plus 200. And then that's going to give us 700 when we add those. So our answer should be somewhere close to 700. All right, let's go ahead and break apart the add ends again. So we'll start here. So this 4 is for 400 right here. And then this 6 is for 610. So this will be 60 right here. And then we'll put 7 in right there, okay? And then so there's uh, 60 plus 7. And then we'll put the 200 in its spot. And then let's go ahead and add. 400 plus 200 is 600 plus 60 plus 15. Okay, now this 15 has um, 15 ones in it, or it has 1, 10, and 5, 1. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add 1, 10 over here and change that to, um, well, I'm, actually I'm doing it down here. So we'll go ahead and change, <coughs> excuse me, I took this 10 right here and added it to this 6 10s right here and made it 7 10s or 70. So now we have 60 plus 70 or 60, 600 plus 70 plus 5 gives us 675. Okay. And then so 467 plus 208 is 675. And is that close to our estimate right here? Yeah, it's pretty close to our estimate. It's a little bit less than that. So it's going to add to 675, which is close to our estimate. All right, let's try this. Let's use the, the break apart strategy to find 343 plus 259. Okay, let's estimate, you guys. Is, is this closer to 300 or 400? Well, since that's uh, 4, it's less than 5. We'll round this to 300. And since this is 5 or greater, we'll round this one to 300 also. So we're going to uh, add 300 plus 300. 
and our answer should be close to 600 right there. Okay, so let's use the break apart strategy here. So here's 300, so this is going to be 300 plus 40 plus 3. 300 plus 40 plus 3. This one's going to be 200 plus 50 plus 9. Okay, so here we go. 300 plus 40 plus 3, 200 plus 50 plus 9, and we'll go ahead and add the 300 plus 200. That'll give us 500. We'll add 40 plus 50. That's going to give us 90. And then again, we're going to get 12. So we'll carry this over. This 12 ones right here is the same as 110. So we'll add 110 to the 9 tens right there. 110 and, and 2 ones. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, 12 is the same as 2 plus uh, one more 10 that we'll put in here at the 9 tens. So now we're just going to add 500 plus 100 plus 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 602. All right, so explain why there's a zero in the tens place right here in the sum right there. All right, well, uh, originally there were nine tens right here before we cross this out, but from the carryover of these um, uh, 12 ones right here, 12 ones is the same as 10 plus 2. Okay, so the extra 10 changed uh, this nine tens to 10 tens, which is 100. Okay, so that 10 tens gave us that zero right there, so the zero was in the 10 spot right there. Okay, so how do we know that the answer is reasonable? Okay, well look at this 602. It was close to the 600 right there, so it was really close to our original estimate on that. Alright you guys, I hope that makes sense, and if you can, would you click like on the video? Thank you. Take care.